I'm back and welcome to my channel. Today I would like to show you how to make this uh, quilling combed flower that I'm going to be using in a uh, future project so keep an eye out for that. So I just thought I'd show you how to do these and then if you want to make some then you'll have them ready for doing the project. So let's get started. So as you can see this has got um, two layers to it and we've got five petals on the top and five on the bottom. So we need to make ten petals all together. So to do that I'm taking my quilling comb and I'm inserting if you can see mine's got numbers on so uh, I know that I need to slot mine in through between six and seven for the start and then it's coming out so we've got two pins in the hole that we're going to be making and then I'll just pull it down there and fold it over. These are about 40 uh, centimetre strips, I forgot to say. Just a little bit of glue. And then I fold mine over that way and just hold it for a second. Because this is probably the most fiddly is part of uh, making these, is getting it started. You can make a um, like curl on your needle tool if you, you want, but I prefer doing it this way. That's not quite stuck yet. If you've got tacky glue you can use that and just makes it a little bit quicker but I've just got PVA next to me today. Right, so just keep holding it onto the back because it's quite easy to leave, uh, for it to slip out. Now when I'm doing the starter one I like to go around this one twice just so that it makes it sturdy, that's all. So, so it doesn't slip off I then put my thumb on the front part and then fold it back with my hand that's underneath and then just slide it back through to the front so essentially you've gone round this one twice and that's it for this one so what we're going to do is we're going to be creating loops at either side of this one to make the loops in the petal so when you're doing the first one I tend to go through to the back like this and then I flip my um, comb and I find it easier to do it this way and I'll show you just in a second so in between each round you need to put a tiny dot of glue on the back of the central uh, loop and here we go. oh no wrong one and I can get it in there we go so I've got that down and that's stuck so you've gone over this one now what we're going to do is come up from the next one up and hold that down so when you've done this if you turn over you'll be able to see you've got the central one once that's stuck down you'll see and then it's got one at either side of it you can do it having the comb this way I just find that it's easier doing it this way I don't get too confused as to loops and all that it's just how I prefer to work and tiny blot of glue again and back down where that one finishes and then you come in back up through the next one so again it's just making oops sorry I'll come out then uh, it's just making that little dip for the loop and then you're going to be folding this back on itself so this is the uh, back of the leaf petal sorry yeah, that you're working on a little bit of glue this is just to keep it in place for when um, you take it off the comb again let's round those if you pull it down like that it sort of makes a little bit of a, a wedge and it don't pull too hard or so it, it could tear your strip but and then come back up the next one and then we're folding it over so that's the process and we're aiming for getting five loops at either side of the central one so I've got two now so I'll carry on doing the rest and I'll uh, fast forward through because you don't want to uh, watch it all in real time and get a bit boring so uh,
So we've got those. And we've got one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So now we're going to be gluing this up at this end. So I'm going to be taking it off, but you need the end of this strip, so don't take it off and leave it attached. And that, when I'm going to take them off, I like to turn them over this way. And you're best off sort of just teasing it off really gently. This is uh, the reason why I like to have the middle one a bit more stiff, so you've got something that's a bit more solid to slide off. Then you end up with that. So, and then you've got this tail piece here. After every time I add a wood petal, I like to wipe uh, the glue off my comb so that uh, you don't get dry bits in your work and uh, it's not got glue in places where you don't want it. Right, so what we're going to do now is gonna, if you just, you can either use your finger or you can use your needle tool, uh, your quilling tool. But I like to push in with my nail on the middle one so it makes it look as though it's got the an extra two bumps in rather than just having the, uh, the central one and then fold it around like that but try not to pinch it too much because we want a, a curved petal and then we're going to use this little bit to wrap around it and it'll keep it in its shape if you want to put an extra strip of colour around it that's up to you I'll just do it this way so it keeps it in place There we go. So, and we've got our petal. So, let's give that a chance. Right, so I'll bring in my other nine petals and show you what to do. So, if you you need five for your base layer, if they do get a bit pointed, you can just pull them apart and it just makes them a bit more curved if that's what you want. In and I arrange them in the position that I want them because there's not that much paper that's actually going to be touching so a cork board would come in handy for this if you want to uh, pin it and leave it to dry I just do it this way. this is just how I prefer to do it and get them in the position that I want them and then I put glue on top of where they join and then because it's PVA, it's quite runny, it seeps down in between the cracks, in between the petals. So it will go to the places where it needs to go. And it's easier to do than putting the glue on each of the petals and trying to push them together because they're so wet thin these pieces. Now the second layer is basically the same but on top of the layer that you're doing. I'll show you this one. And we're going in between two petals that are on the base layer. So just get one of your other petals and I'll put some glue near the bottom where I know it's going to be touching and place it where I need it to be. I've put that one a bit too far in but don't worry because it's not it's PVA it takes a few minutes for it to actually dry once everything's dry they up like you can see with this one this one's quite sturdy so um, they're only a little bit fiddly at this point while you're waiting for the uh, glue to dry but that's no uh, big worry Like I say, if you've got a cork board and pins, you can use those. I just prefer to do it this way. There we go. So we've got our ten petals. Still I've got time to adjust them, but that looks good enough for me. Let's see if I can push it further up here, I don't know where they're coming. Right. So again, 
I like to just put a little bit of glue on top so that it joins down in those little cracks that might have been missed from putting it on the back way and then I'm going to take one of these uh, half back pearls or flat back pearls I'm not really sure if which is the right name for them and I'm going to have that as the centre of the flower so these ones are sticky but I like to put extra glue on just for that extra um, stickiness just to make sure that's it and then you let it dry so push that to the side so it can dry and I can show you the trick that I, I do once they're, they're dry now you can use them flat like this or you can make them more 3D by either pushing oh got a bit of constant to me you can either use your palm to push them and sort of make them into a more cupped shape or if you've got one of the quilling moulds you could also do this while it's drying if you decided you wanted to do this and then once it's tacked a little bit you'd push it down into the dome and then leave it to finish drying but you can just do it once it's dried and it stays in uh, the cupped shape that way and that's that so these flowers I'm going to be using on a, a project that I'm going to be uploading a video for uh, I'm doing these first in case anybody wants to make them to have them ready uh, I think uh, we need two of these for the project that I'm going to do so keep an eye out for that and I'll see you next time bye